Keep watch while I go check. Marcos? Cassandra? Sierra! How? Kept myself busy, haven't I? No time to explain here. Get me out! Understood.
You're as nimble as ever. Now, carry me to my house on the other side of the mountain. I have to carry you the whole way? I, I'm so weak. I'm so frail. Ugh, fine. Another vineyard? I am nothing if not consistent, my friend. Yeah. Ah, much better. No one makes a hasty exit like you. You're welcome. Cassandra, welcome to the newest of the Marcos estates. I wasn't expecting company, but one must always be prepared. Wine? Marcos, I can't believe you're here. Believe it, my friend. I'm not a man of one city, but of all cities. Who am I to deny the rest of the Greek world what I have to offer? What brings you to Kos, of all places? I've learned a thing or two about soil. Turns out Kefalonia wasn't the best place for grapes. Plus, the locals here love wine. Everybody loves wine. Besides, how profitable could I have been in a town of thieves and mercenaries? Not very. Been here long? Long enough to establish myself as the foremost wine cellar in Kos. Well, the one wine cellar in Kos. The koans will come around eventually. You made it a long way from home. I could say the same to you. Did you find what you were looking for? I did. I found my mother. What a coincidence! I found my mama too! Here, in Kos? Since Kos is her home, Kos is my home too! Say hello, mama! Your mama? You told me your mother was dead. Right, this is my adopted mama. We've become so close, she wouldn't have it any other way. Come on, Marcos. The truth. <laughs> well, Mama is the owner of the vineyard. When her husband met his untimely death, it was going to be auctioned off. Something had to be done. So you stepped in to help. <laughs> how generous. It's ridiculous a wonderful lady such as Mama cannot inherit her own property. Now we run the vineyard together. Isn't that right, Mama? She'd put up a fuss if she disagreed. It's her land, but she shares it with her precious son, me! It's a nice place you've commandeered, Marcos. <laughs> if I didn't know you so well, I'd think you were serious. I'm always laughing these days. You weren't laughing much when you were tied up in that fort. Uh, about that, I have a bit of a problem on my hands. Why am I not surprised? But it's something I know you could help me with, my friend. I know your credentials. Go on. You know me. I borrow some drag me, and before I know it, they're calling me the Khan of Kos. All thanks to the Cerberus, whom I owe the most. The Cerberus? First the Cyclops, now this? Don't tell me it's a three-headed dog. Don't be ridiculous. This is nothing like the Cyclops. This time I wish to make a peace offering, with nothing less than my finest wine. Finest? A palatable, maybe. Cassandra, you're like family to me. And since I'm family to you, I'm sure you wouldn't mind helping. You're sure, are you? I promise I can afford to pay you this time. Just take my wine to the Cerberus. Simple. Fine. For old time's sake. I can always count on you! And the Cerberus can count on a nice wine pairing with dinner. Take it to his house! The Cerberus better not bite me.
Ευρώπη. Ήβρε. Are you the Cerberus? Who wants to know? Who? Only one head. A gift for you. Have you ever had Marcos's wine? It's the best of the best. What's so good about it? If you savor your wine, you'll like it. It's very rich. He's not gonna win me over with wine. I never forget whose purse my drachmi goes into. It's a peace offering. I thank you for waiting so patiently for him to pay you back. Hmm. Then drink with me, if you think it's so good. All right. <coughs> it's poisoned! No! That's just the wine! You tricked me! Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Guards! Guards! Yo! You're not supposed to be there! Yeah! Stop! Stop! Yeah. Get out here! Mother God! Let's go, Phobos. Ugh, still have the taste of Marcos's wine in my mouth. Cerberus wants to order another amphora's worth! The wine made us sick, Marcos. Impossible! It was my best batch! I double-checked! If you wanted him dead, you should have told me. I did tell you! I'm a new Marcos! I don't want people dead, I want what's right! But that isn't good news! No, it's not good. The Cerberus will come after you. What to do, what to do? What am I saying? Cassandra, this is when we strike! Strike? You and what army? I have a demigod for a best friend! That's an army as strong as 20 soldiers! You have it all figured out, don't you? There's only three of them, plus their little group of men. It will be easy, my friend. Three? Why do you think they're called the Cerberus? Because they're three brothers, triplets, each with as much bite as the last. Great. So there are two others that'll want revenge. Wait a minute, wait a minute! That means two of them haven't tried my wine! So what are you going to do? They need to be spooked. As Mama says, a threat is like a bear. Very scary. We'll burn the Cerberus' farm. Specifically, the silos. That's not a good idea. When have you had reason not to trust me? Don't answer that, my friend. Just trust me. It better work. Though I'm skeptical. It's even worth sacrificing them as potential customers. Do you want the crops burned, too? They grow herbs. Harmless plants for medicine. It's just the silos that should go. Blow them up! You couldn't have mentioned there were three of them before? I thought it was implied. Having triplets runs in their family. That's a lot of Cerberuses. Let's hope they don't procreate and have Cerberus puppies. I'll pay their farm a visit. Give them a good scare. I'm pretty sure it's the farm in Astipalia City. Their goons are always hanging around. Got it.
Silo to go. Done. I'll tell Marcos it made quite the impression. The Cerberus should stay away from you now. Uh, well, maybe not after all. One of the farmers ran over. She was, uh, not happy. Why? It seems I may have, or I, I did, accidentally, of course, sent you to someone else's farm. It wasn't the Cerberus' farm? I could have sworn it belonged to the Cerberus. You have to believe me, my friend. An honest mistake. I destroyed someone's farm. I knew something was off. I will take on the debt and help them rebuild. Nothing else can go wrong. <sighs> Another mess. You've known me longer than anyone. If you can't forgive me, Cassandra, who can? Someone with more patience. Are you going to make me beg? Because I'll beg! Spare me from the Cerberus! <sighs> Marcos! Have I led you down the wrong path? A few times, yes. Many times, maybe. But this is it for me, my friend! What happened to everybody benefits, eh? I have never benefited from helping you. Think back to that sunny day when I found you, Cassandra. That was your day of need, and Marcos came to the rescue. Come to my rescue today! I've paid you back plenty. That I can't deny. But the Cerberus will come with its dogs and its devotees, and I'll be finished! Protect me, and we'll come out on top! There's that we again. I'll tell you what. You protect me, and you get Mama's beloved battle axe. She used to be quite the fighter, believe it or not. All right, let's keep you alive. Oh, I've never heard words more sweet! You'll never get rid of me now! That's why I do what I do. And just in time, I hear them approaching. All right, Marcos, this is it. The grand finale. I was invincible, but I don't want to jinx myself. Yes, that's why you're alive. I joke, I joke. I owe you everything, Cassandra. For this, you get a lifetime supply of wine and my friendship. Lucky you. Oh, and Mama Zax. Life will now be simple. All thanks to you. It's always thanks to you. A less dramatic life is just what you need, Marcos. Go now and adventure. Come back anytime for that cup of wine. Right. 
We'll see about that. <laughs>